and go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a great day today and in today's video we're going to be exploring another home photography idea and as you can tell by the intro we're going to get some pretty awesome looking results now you also might be quite interested to know that over on instagram i use the hashtag cp photos where you guys can share with me your photography work and there is now over 1800 people using the hashtag which is just at the end of today's video, I am going to be reviewing and looking at some of your photography using the hashtag. So today's photography idea combines two main things, water and food dye. And as you can tell by the intro, that makes some amazing photography. But there is a very specific setup to it. So we're going to jump to how to set up where I'll give you some tips and tricks if you want to try this photography at home. So to create the photography idea today, I've got this little basic DIY setup right here. So I've got a wine glass right here with some water in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using this stuff right here. This is just some very basic food dye. You can probably get it from any main supermarket. And then I have got this syringe. What I'm then going to do is put all this food dye into the syringe and then drop it into the glass of wine like this. Now the one thing I do need to change for this setup and it is involving this laptop right here. You might be wondering why in the world this is sitting here. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting up a PowerPoint presentation. Bear with me. But basically I'm going to be using PowerPoint to kind of set a white background and then what I'll do is I'll be able to have that as my main light. The light that comes from this laptop will be the only source of light for this photography because it will allow all the detail within the glass to come to surface so I could take the photographs. Just a quick little side note as well, keep things really clean because having all this like ink and everything flying around your room into like these types of things can really cause havoc and I've already got some on my jeans right here and these are actually some of my best jeans so I'm praying it's going to come off. Don't ask me or do ask me why I did it in my really good jeans. The simple answer is, is I'm an idiot and didn't think ahead. Um, so yeah, I'm really praying that they actually come out and also I'm doing this over a really good carpet. So, you know, I really didn't think, do what I don't. What? Right, let's begin with the photography. I can't wait for this. This is going to be pretty spectacular. And go! That looks sick! Oh, those results are amazing! You know what I really like about this type of photography and photography things like this sometimes as well? It's how addicting it is. Does anyone know what I mean? Like, if you can do a type of photography sometimes, it can get really addicting. That you just want to keep going, keep getting more hits, keep getting more photography results. That just looks spectacular and amazing. That is what this type of photography is. It's just a hit after hit of wanting to get amazing different results. So in terms of focusing on this type of photography, there's a couple of methods I actually find that work. Now the auto methods, leaving it on its own and trying to pre-focus really doesn't work and manual focus can be quite difficult to judge exactly where you want to focus. So what I usually do is I drop one droplet in first, focus on it, then I put a few more in and shoot on a burst so I can get multiple different shots. Another method that you can do is maybe put an object in the water first. So maybe grab a pencil, a pen, anything, put it in the water, focus on it, turn your camera to manual focus, then put the droplets roughly where it's going to be, have maybe a little bit more of an open aperture. I've been shooting at f2.8 rather than f1.8, and then the focus is pretty much nailed, and it's just one thing you don't have to worry about while shooting. Now, in terms of cameras, I have been shooting with a D7500 with a 51.8, as well as the Z6 with a 24-70. to Both cameras are taking equally as great and fantastic photographs. Now, I do recommend as well having a tripod 
tripod so you can lock off your focus and keep everything nice and stable. And I'll even wager that you might be able to get some pretty spectacular results with your phone because it's a very simple setup to get some really unique and eye-catching results. So I've got another quick idea that I'm also going to explore with the food dye. I've got my fish tank right here ready to go and basically what I'm going to do is inject it with red ink take some photos of it then take out all the water fill it back up again and do it with blue ink and hopefully what I'm going to be able to do is merge different colors of inks together in one frame so you'll have maybe reds coming up from the top blues coming up from the bottom reds from the side and then blues from the other side and hopefully it will just make one kind of merged photograph together also look at how interesting the fish tank looks look at all the food dye that is just sitting here right at the bottom. It is so interesting and weird that it's just sitting there and it's kind of like floating like clouds. So we have finished doing this area of photography and I think all the results came out really well. Now for the one that I did in the fish tank, I got some really interesting results on their own because I didn't have the glass as a limitation so I was able to really use that space to get some really intricate and really close up shots of some of the ink droplets and just get some really fascinating videos and overall some great results. Now the Photoshop one, the reds didn't really work in combination with the blues so what I did was I put two of the blues together and that made for this really cool photograph right here. I think every single photograph I took here worked beyond what I was expecting and really happy with what I was able to achieve. So before we end today's video, let's begin looking through the hashtag CP photos and let's see which photograph catches my eye. And the first one is right here and this is by Gamerez Photography. I love this apple shot in the water. It's a really great shot. I love that you've even got the water line above the apple, the lights coming in is perfect, the black background is perfect, the bubbles really do stand out. Gamirez, this is some great photography, keep up the brilliant work and you are from Brazil, I know everything's going a bit tits up there at the moment so hopefully you are staying safe and you are just keeping busy, occupied and which it seems like you are doing with this type of photography. Stay safe buddy, keep well. Thank you for using the hashtag. The next photograph is by Aiden, and this is a really nice, simple product shot. I really do like it. You've really taken into great consideration the color palette to match the cider bottle right here with the purples. You've got the crate, you've got some of the fruit, and it all combines really nicely for this shot. The one thing I would change personally about this shot, however, is that light. The light is a little bit too harsh on the can, so I might have wanted to add a little bit extra layer of diffusion, just so it's not giving that very harsh effect onto the can, but that is one very minor detail in this great shot. Let's keep scrolling and let's see. Oh, I've just spotted it. Christian Binder has followed my steps and dropped a Nikon in a fish tank but you've gone one up for me you've done it with a d7000 and mate this is an amazing photograph i just love this type of photography splash photography but doing it with a camera there's something about it and i don't even need to say anything else apart from amazing shot mate really awesome this is just i can't believe you did it as well but um, that, that's, that's insane. There's a, there's a nick on the fish tank again. I swear between me and Christian, we're going to start destroying the whole line of Nikon cameras in fish tanks. So that has been a new video and I feel like we have been so, so creative today. So, so awesome with the results. It felt like something from like Art Attack. Does anyone actually remember that or is that just me? We're basically Art Attack. No, we're not. I'm not Art Attack. No, I'm not that good. But we we are, we are were today basically Art Attack. And until next time, everybody, stay creative, stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.